Well, I think we are talking about the American dream. The American dream has been made possible by a capitalist system that has produced shared prosperity. Right. So people like me, who start out with being the first to go to college, a grandfather who was basically illiterate, and today I'm certainly in the 1%. That was made possible because we had an economy that made it possible for me to receive an education, to have scholarships provided by private philanthropists, and then to work in a market that rewarded me for my entrepreneurship and my uh, my hard work. All sounds good so far. So far the, challenge, the challenge, <laughs> the challenge, the challenge so today yeah. is that that mobility escalator that I have right. that I got on and that probably most of you got on has stopped. And in fact, that American dream as we know it, which was the envy of the world, is no longer the envy of the world. In fact. The United States has fallen behind other industrialized nations in terms of economic mobility. So if you want the American dream today, you ought to move to Canada because Canada is doing better than the United States Why is that? on economic mobility. So they Why still have a capitalistic system in Canada. Indeed, and, and, yeah. and exactly. So what, what's the they've got a capitalist system and they are doing better than us okay. on providing so opportunity. So you want to work around the edges of capitalism. I want to challenge capitalism to do what it's supposed to do. And what, that what is broke? to provide opportunity broke? for okay. as many people. But th this sounds like it has to do with, with uh, more with tax policy than capitalism itself. Well, the relationship in a democratic capitalist system is always one of the relationship between public policy and the markets. That's, that's our system.